Et sur le dame gauche en bas Et Hi, this is video 239. As you can see, Mike has all but completed the paintwork on the French wing, NX 644. He has to cover number 3 fuel bay bay in black paint. Just a quick hello to a young man named Artie. I met Artie and his dad this week. In his dad watched these videos on Saturday at 6 pm. So thanks for watching, Artie. This polythene cover was erected so Mike could spray the French wing NX644 before fitting to the Lancaster. Covid free now. Yeah, Covid free thankfully. How are you Neville? Jacob was removing rivets and skins so they could find the jigging holes in the ribs of the trailing edge. Each rib will be held in place by an extended farm from the support tube running the length of the trailing edge. When you said um, a couple of weeks ago, Norman, yeah. you, you were waiting. The, the rear turret was fixed at the top, oh, yeah. but you got no datum for whereabouts it fits at the bottom. It's, it, no, that's not what I meant. But what I meant was um, I had no. Um, there wasn't enough stringers there to uh, give me the datums. I needed more stringers fitted, but I'd, I'd removed the stringers to get them painted. Yeah. So I'd lost all my datum. So I've rough. Most of the stringers are back on now, but I've got, right. to, I've got to take the rear turret off tomorrow anyway. Yeah. It was, I saw that comment, yeah. I was just, I'd lost my stringers, so I didn't know, I, I, I needed more stringers back on to hold the frame in place. Uh -huh. That's what it was, yeah. Yeah, I did see it. Yeah. So I, I, I watched all the videos while I got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Roger, one of the volunteers at the centre. I've often come in and he's been doing painting some billboards or plaques. Yeah, so these he... are, um, I'm renovating, which is putting it mildly, uh, the tree memorial plaques. There's in excess of about 260 odd uh, around the uh, uh, camp. Uh, and I'm on, I think, round about 210 now, of about 50 to go, thank goodness. I've been doing them since uh, March uh, 2022. Uh, I'm doing about two a week, because I'm getting to the ones now which are really old. Been here 40 plus years, and uh, they require a lot of uh, renovation. Like this one here is, the lecture is just completely gone, so I'm re-indenting the uh, lettering spaces with uh, black enamel and it seems to cope quite well. Uh, not sign writing as such, it's just filling in the gaps which is making it easier. And so this they is all two look good, don't I they? finished this morning um, which are ready to go back out. All oh. labelled up with the catalogue numbers and the date they've been renovated. Um, that's my bit of freehand numbering which isn't too bad. It's getting quite good after 200 and odd uh, plaques, so uh, we're getting there. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. One of my many multiple tasks here, I just look after the general cleansiness of the hangar. Bit of sweeping up, bit of dusting, clearing up after the engineers mainly. But, uh, How many days by. do you do? Uh, just two a week. Yeah. Normally uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. 
so it fits in quite well with other plans that I've got here and there. But uh, yeah. Another volunteer doing a great job. Well, I like to think so. Thank you very much. OK, thanks a lot for that, Roger. Right. Andy's working on the second assist unit for the rear turret, the half-inch Browning guns. These units are handed, so there is two on the right and two on the left side of the track powering the ammunition to the guns. I asked Andy if he could do me a favour. I asked Andy to measure how many rounds of ammunition there are in one foot length. It turned out to be 13 rounds per foot. Okay. Yeah. Where's the foot? Can you see? Is that the foot? Where's the foot? Yeah. There it is there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Un unlucky for some. Unlucky. <laughs> so we've got thirteen of these the foot. times thirty. Yeah. That's uh, thir three hundred and ninety. Three hundred and ninety. Three hundred and ninety yeah. lakhs yeah. from the ammunition store yeah, to the guns. To the gun. yeah. 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 Thanks, Andy. The next port of call was Brad. I asked him if he could show me where the track for the ammunition ran. In what part of the fuselage was the ammunition stored? Or where did they attach to the boxes? Yeah. Please, I should say. Obviously from the turret, through these holes, yeah. which are, these ones are for 303, we've got 50 ones in ours. Yeah, they're 303s are Yeah, because there were two tracks for, yeah. the, for the four guns. And you've got one that side, one that side. Yeah. And they'd run under here, under the step. And then, then they'd, make the, they'd run along here and then they'd make their way up and attach there. Oh, that sat, sat high up, did they? Yes, yeah. Oh. So it's hell of a run, isn't it? Yeah, it's why they have the assisters. I yeah. There's a couple of assisters on the route. Yeah. And the assisters... Which is what, which is what that box is for. That runs an assistant, I believe. And that one. So there'll be two. There's an assister either side here. Yeah. And I think there's, there's supposed to be another couple in the back end as well. Yeah, towards the uh, guns. Yeah. yeah. Which is what Andy's been restoring. Yeah, that's what I was doing, Andy. Right, this is the one by the doors, and above here, on the inside, of course, is where the ammunition is stored for the rear turret. I've walked it out, and it's about 30 feet. I still work in the old imperial uh, measurement. The track runs along the floor, feeding the ammunition along with two assister units, assist units about a third of the way down and two thirds of the way down. And then there's another unit helps feed it into the gun. So we've worked it out, I measured the round and there was 13 rounds per foot. So 13 times 30 is 390. So there's 390 rounds travelling along from the Bombay door there all the way along to the gun. I went to check out this with Aid, who is knowledgeable with this type of gun layout. When the rear turret had four guns, 0.303 of an inch am ammunition, the ammunition travelled in two tracks, one on top of the other, both sides of the fuselage. So that what Andy was saying those those two bring the ammunition from the from the bomb bay yeah. through one of those, then through another one to underneath the turret. Yeah. But then there's still um, an ammo there's an ammo servo in the turret itself. So the FN82 has is dri the ammunition's driven into the turret as well. Oh, is that? So right? if you look, if you go down there and have a look, 
where you see the ammo emerging into the guns, yeah. when you look into the back of the turret, that's driven. So when the, when the gunner pulls the triggers, it activates on each side two of those and the one in the turret. And there's two, and there's two versions, so there's Series 1 and Series 2 F and 82s. One of them had an electrical assister and one had a hydraulic one. Oh, oh did they? Yeah, yeah oh. so one of, the, one of the versions is a hydraulic assister, which is the one that's fitted to Jane. It's yeah. got hydraulic. The one that's in the display, yeah, the turret display, is electrical. Yeah. Oh, okay. They do the same job though, I mean they just yeah. shove the ammunition yeah. into yeah. the guns. <coughs> the whole idea is, fundamentally, the gun doesn't have enough energy to yeah. drag the ammunition, you can't yeah. lift it. You just can't, you just can't do it. Well, I mean, uh, the weight of the ammunition traveling yeah, yeah, what yeah. Um, 20 foot 30 foot yeah from the gun mm. to, from the ammunition box to the gun yeah it's a hell of a drag well, it's, isn't it's it? heavy for one and secondly there's a lot of drag obviously yeah. through, even i mean the stainless steel rail uh, runners yeah. but there's, there's a there's a lot of drag in there yeah it's heavy old stuff The bomb symbols on Lancaster Just Jane. Several comments have asked what do the symbols represent. Christopher Panton, a family member of the Pantons, was killed on the Nuremberg Raid in 1944. These represent his flyer missions in a Halifax bomber. The Panton family who own Lancaster Just Jane, NX611, bought the Lancaster as a memorial to Christopher and the 57,000 plus men who lost their lives flying with Bomber Command and all who served with Bomber Command during the Second World War. I'll read what the symbols are because if you're watching it on your mobile phone you might not be able to see clear enough. Right, the swastika, the downing of a German aircraft. The yellow bombs, night operation. Red bombs, operations over Berlin, ice cream cones, Italian operations, parachute, mine laying, and the key was Christopher's 21st operation. You still got the door to do. Why he didn't paint it on, I'm not sure. But the rest of it looks great. There's the man himself. I'll put it on video, because you've done such a good job on that paintwork. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks really good the other side, doesn't it? Yeah, that's too bad. Why did you leave the door? It would speed things up a little bit. Apparently the door has got to be on there to move it. Yeah. There's a lot of work, as you can see, it's all scratched up. So it would have been two days for me to take it into the paint shop and then uh, repair it and paint it and put it back on. Yeah. But it was quicker to paint the wing first. Yeah. So that the guys can get and on And that with saved it. you taping the they gap up, didn't it? There you yeah. go. Yeah. Saved on that. I've seen you do it before. So when they move the wing, they're finished with this panel, they'll chuck it back to me and I've got all the time in the world basically to yeah. repaint it. So yeah. That's good. Yeah, I mean they can that's put fine. it on the Lancaster with that door on top and now. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to leave it till later and that was, that's, that's fine. 
So what, what's the programme now? Do you know what's happening? Nobody tell me nothing. No. You know nothing? I know nothing. I can back the lawn. I don't want to look the other side. It really looks good. So when you set about this side, what did you do first? Did you do the roundels? No, they were done last. Um, what we did, we did the camo first, but we did the camo at the same time, both colours at the same time. Did you really? Yeah, so I've t all I've done is taken references off the old wing as to roughly where it went. Just done it freehand, did you? just did a, like a chalk mark to, oh. to see where it was going to initially go, and then just use the chalk mark. So to get this effect here, where it sort of blends, you have to turn your spray gun right the way down. And normally you've got a big fan like that. So you use the screws on the end and turn the fan right the way down so it's literally just a circle. Turn the pressure down. Yeah. And then literally uh, spray the line that you want. You got that feather back, in. Back, yeah. yeah, back, back fill it a little bit. And then you can turn your fan up to go from right there. So, I think we did the brown first yeah. and then went over with the green afterwards. I knew roughly where I was going because I just sort of chalked it out. Yeah. So it's just sort of a free end. Yeah. And then that got done Did you paint that over the camouflage or I not? didn't because I knew where this was going to be. Oh. I chalked off roughly where it's going to be, just over sprayed it slightly so that there's no camo underneath here. So yeah. I didn't even need it. Yeah. Uh, it didn't matter which way I was going to do this, I could have done that first or that, it didn't really matter too much. Just trying to save your workload. Uh, so we did the red uh, first and we managed to let it dry over the weekend. Yeah. So we did mask on top of it. And I did this uh, yesterday. And then, uh, yeah, we have to sort of mask that off. Yeah. And then go around. So, finished it. Yeah, it's a real good job. Your only work has made it look really crappy. And you crack it as cracking. No, it's a crappy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's a good job all round. Yeah, well done Mike. Thank you. And well done Keith for putting the bits together. It's on the state together. Good, thank you.